everybody. Bye. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, we're going to start with. Um, I'm going to use a pen today. A change from the mug. Okay. So, this is a pen. Now, a pen is an object. Now, a pen is a limited object. So, a pen has like a shape. Now, to uh, observe a shape, you cannot be the shape. The observer of the shape is not the shape. Yeah? So, everyone ca is witnessing the shape. This is also what I call a meaningless shape. There's, no, there's not much of an attachment to a pen. It's quite a meaningless object. Okay. So, is anyone here confused that they are the pen? No? We're clear. Okay, now I think, I think it looks clear that no one's confused that they are. So, a pen is an object, and there is observing of the object, and you're not the object that's being observed. That's really important. Now, this is an object. Just because an object is in front of you doesn't mean you are the object. You are, in fact, the observer of the object. Now, what if you know, the pen is moving before you? Would you, still, would you be the pen? No, you still wouldn't be. And if the pen wasn't here, would you be the pen? Uh, so even if the pen's in front of you or if it's moving in front of you, you're still not the pen. Okay. So a pen is a limited object that can be in front of you or that can move and change or not be in front of you. So it's just an object which passes before the observer or the witnesser. Now the witnesser of a pen is not the pen. Is that clear? You know, just because you, you know, the, pen is not, the witnesser of the pen is not the pen. The witnesser of an object is not the object. Okay, good. Okay, so then we've got thoughts. Okay, so thoughts sometimes are here, sometimes lots of thoughts, sometimes there might be no thoughts. So, something is witnessing thoughts which is not thoughts. Yeah? So, are we all experiencing the witnesser of thoughts? Okay, so if there's a pen, okay, if there's trouble with this, so if there's a pen, the witnesser of the pen is not the pen. Yeah. Like the pen can't be the pen that's observing itself. The, the observer of the pen has to be something completely different to the pen. Okay. <coughs> so thoughts come and go. Yeah. And sometimes there's lots of thoughts. So it's an experience. Don't try and think. Like if you're in your thoughts and you try and think about what's observing me, then you won't find the observer. Because the observer of thoughts cannot be a thought. So something is watching thoughts which is not a thought. So don't try and be in your thoughts and try and think about it. Something is witnessing thoughts which is not thoughts. Is there experience of something which is witnessing all thoughts which is not thoughts? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's a spiritual experience. You don't think about it, because a lot of people try and think the answer, but actually something is watching my thoughts which is not my thoughts. And that, that's an experience. Oh, there's a witnesser of thoughts, and this witnesser is not a thought. It's, it watches. Thoughts come and go in it, but it is not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not thinking. So thoughts come and go, but the witnesser of thoughts is not thoughts. So you can, you know, don't pay too much attention to thought, because the witnesser of thoughts is not thoughts. Next we've got things like images and pictures. You know, like a, suddenly I might remember a picture of when I'm three years old. But actually, that which observes pictures coming and going, is that which observes pictures a picture? No, good. So a picture is an object. Remember, a pen is an object. The observer of a pen is not a pen. That's an experience. That's not an intellectual thing. You can experience that the observer of the pen is not the pen. It's an experience. The observer of thoughts can be experienced to be not thought. Yeah, there's a witnesser. This is experiential. This is not a mental thing. Um, so the witnesser of images coming and going, this experience, ah, even if an image is here or not here, the observer is here. And the observer is not an image. Yeah. Okay, then, then we've got, okay, so then there's a the thing like, is there an experience of location? Yeah. Is there an experience like you're located somewhere? If there's an experience of location, something is observing or witnessing or perceiving location. 
Now, if you if you go if you be the in the witnesser of something that experiences location, in that experience you'll experience that this has no location. Uh, next will be uh, I'll I'll come back in a more detailed way later if people haven't drawn like time. Now, something is sometimes is tracking seconds. You know, a second is past, another second is past, or whatever it is. But actually, there's something which witnesses time, or observes time, which has no interest in time. So when you go to the observer of time, time doesn't exist. And when you go to the observer of location, location. Now, remember, when you if you go back into your thinking, you lose it. So this is not a thing about the, uh, trying to understand, because the witnesser of thoughts is prior to thoughts. So these are all exp these are all experiential. Okay. So uh, so so there are things which come and go. Thoughts come and go, time comes and go, uh, the experiencing of location comes and go, comes and goes. But something witnesses all of these things which come and go, which is which is always here. Like, you know, a pen can come and go, but there's something here that never comes and goes. There's something here which is before a pen, which is before time, which is before thought, which is before location, but it cannot come and go. It's always here. Okay, so uh, that will be today's introduction to experiencing something which is timeless, eternal. Uh, it's distanceless, it's spatialnessness. These are not correct words, but I'm just saying them anyway. No. And uh, uh, it's thoughtless, so it's it's not an object. If you experience yourself to be limited in any way, something is observing the limit. So if you experience yourself to be the body something is witnessing the body which is not the body. If you experience any form of like being a limit, the observer of that limit is not that limit. You have to experience that. So eventually, if you go to the observer of all limits, can that observer, that, that observer is actually, I'll tell you, it's, it's, not, it's not limited. Yeah. So you just keep going back until all limits are busted out. <coughs> okay. So, with that, I'm going to sort of um, switch this off.